Today we are going to learn how to create a free account on SAP BTP trial. To create a free account, you need to follow these eight steps, maybe not eight, at least six steps you need to follow. And uh, I'm attaching this URL in the description so you can follow these. Let me explain you how you can create the free account. If you'll see the first step is login to SAP website, you need to log in www.sap.com. Once you log in, you need to register here. This step is not mandatory. If you don't want to do, don't do it. You can directly move to registered at sap.com, the steps to where the link would be provided to you. And uh, once you will click on the registered button, it will ask you to provide your Gmail address, your first name, last name, your company and the country reason you belong to your mobile number these are there are some mandatory fields that you need to fill up once you do it then it will send one authentication email to your email address by which you are registering here in the step three so you need to activate your account you will receive one email uh, where click to activate your account this kind of button would be there you just have to click it and your account would be activated then you need to log on to SAP BTP trial. So BTP trial has a separate link. You need to click on login and you need to provide the password. Password uh, reset option would be there and you need to provide your uh, email address by which you are registering for SAP. And along with the password that you have for, you have set for your account for to access the BTP trial, you need to provide the same password and same email address. Then you need to verify your account and to verify your account, uh, your mobile number, using your mobile number, you need to verify one verification code would be coming to your mobile number and you need to verify. And once you verify that, then you are registered completely. Then you can access the welcome screen. So let me show you how welcome screen looks like. Wel welcome screen looks like this. Then you can go to your uh, trial account by clicking on this button. If you will see in my trial account right now, there is a sub account called trial, but for you, this account won't be there. So you need to create it as you move further for the step seven. You will see once you click on your uh, uh, sub account, you need to create account. You need to create this account and it will give you two options, which cloud service you want to use. You can use any one of them, Singapore Azure or US AWS. Once you select any one of them, then you get a trial account like this. So you need to follow this blog. And if you follow this blog, eventually you will end up coming on this screen where you have your account, you have your user information and you have one trial account. If you move inside the trial account, there are a lot of things, but today we are going to discuss how to access the SAP Business Application Studio. So if you will just click on this trial account on the very first page, you will see the SAP Business Application Studio link. So you need to click on this in case if this link is not working at once. If you see any blank screen, just close, close the link and try to access it again. Once you click the next time, it, it is actually a bug for new users sometimes. And once you click, you will see a screen like this, or maybe right now I have the instance, so you won't see anything. You will see a blue button, create dev space. So you need to create one dev space by which the SAP application, business application studio would run. I have created Fury Dev. So you just have to create, you just have to click on this create dev space. And here you have to provide the dev space name. So fury underscore dev, I already have. So I'm just giving fury underscore prod production. And I need to select SAP Fury here because I'm going to build SAP UFI and Fury applications. Here on the right side, additional SAP extensions you need to provide. So you can select CDS graphical model. You can select CAP tools. You can select Chromium. And I would suggest that you select all of them because you never know what kind of requirement you might get while working or learning launchpad modules. So I would say, but the very important that you need to select is HTML5 application template. You need to select as a UI developer launchpad module you need to select and basic UFI templates you need to select. So there are certain things. So uh, you can actually select all of them. It won't harm anything. And you just need to click on create dev space. Once your dev space would be created, it would look something like this. 
and if the status of your dev spaces is stopped so on the right side there is a run button you need to click on this button now the fury dev space is running the status is running and this title has turned into a link so we need to click on this link and it will open the actual sap business application studio where we can do the sap ufi application related development in the next module you will understand how to create a simple hello world sap ufi application how to create an empty sap ufi application in the next video this is what you are going to learn now here a lot of options available this tool is almost similar to vs code by microsoft and uh, there is a lot of learning related to this tool so stay tuned with this channel thank you so much